Hey guys, I've had a couple of people ask about the details on my uh, spindle handle which I've used in quite a few videos. Pretty simple device and I never thought it was worth describing but just out of interest for anybody who might be able to make and use a similar thing because I, I tend to like to be able to turn the spindle by hand. All it is, well this one anyway, all it is, start here, the uh, spindle on my lathe is inch and a sixteenth and here we've got about a five, nearly six inch, my uh, five and a half, uh, there's a piece of 30 millimeter which is turned down for about three inches to just under inch and a sixteenth so it's a nice fit in the spindle. We've got a roll pin here which is transverse and you'll see what that does in a minute. That's for engaging in the spindle. The section here is, um, I'm trying to think of the length, actually I, I told somebody it was a foot long, it isn't. It's actually about seven inches which isn't very much but that gives a 14 inch that radius gives a 14 inch diameter turn so you've got quite a quite a lot of um, leverage there if needed and that material is a piece of inch scrap it's uh, three eighths thick it's attached to the spindle insert section by two bolts one bolt might do but two is better because then it's not going to turn and what else is left just a handle and the handle is that's about five inch or nearly five inch anyway it's just well four and a half and that was turned down from a piece of inch originally this end is left larger which I think was mainly cosmetic <laughs> and this part here is about uh, that finishes up which again is completely non-critical that's three quarter which is quite quite a nice thickness to the hand and it's pretty smooth so uh, it just turns in your hand it doesn't cause any blisters or anything like that and that basically is it there are many ways to make something like it let us see if I can get closer so this is the uh, section that goes into the spindle and then we've got the transverse roll pin two bolts there and then the handle and the handle was actually uh, it's actually threaded I cut a coarse thread and uh, threaded this handle piece so it goes in and it's been filed off flat so it's nice and tidy and I'll just show you where it goes well, there's the end of my spindle and this was drilled to take four roll pins to each side so when the handle goes in there it is it just engages in the roll pins uh, nice round hard pins would look nicer but the roll pins are perfectly functional so there it is that's all there is to it and on numerous occasions I find it very valuable I guess if push came to shove and we had a power outage I could still very slowly turn some material So that just explains a very simple handle. Thanks for watching.